Hi guys, we're back for a final on our Pro Street group build, uh, sponsored by Dylan at NYS Modeling. We did our 69 Oldsmobile, and we, uh, this is the W3442 kit, uh, which is real similar to the 68 W31 that my dad had. But we did it as a pro street. We used uh, a lot of the parts from the AMT 66 Nova kit. Some parts from a 67 GTO kit. Um, we hit the decal bin for some gauges for the dashboard. And we picked up some odds and end motors, or uh, odds and end motor parts from here and there. Scratch built a few things, and that's our car we have. So we did a black interior, black car with the red pinstripe, just like my dad's was. Um, tip it up on the side here. So we did, uh, basically we have the Nova chassis. With the, done in all aluminum with with the gold accent because the Oldsmobile painted their motors gold and my motor is gold so we did the gold accents on the underside to match that let's see if I can pop our hood off so there's our engine bay we made our wire plug wires from the uh, 22,000 solder, painted them red. We made a custom high output coil, which is over here on the fender. That's my. It's over here on the on the inner fender. The uh, uh, carburetor air filters came from the from the Nova kit. The, the dual carbs came from the Nova kit. The uh, intake is actually the three deuce intake, which I modified from from the Cutlass kit. Um, we used uh, a braided hose up here on top. We built a uh, I don't know if it'll show. Try and zoom in on it. We built a custom alternator bracket. So the alternator is not suspended in space. Uh, we did our our battery wires are also made from solder. So that's some of the detail parts. We did the uh, we talked about in the previous videos. We uh, modified the '67 Chevelle Pro Street wheels. To make them uh, the Kreger five spokes instead of those flat four spoke things that are they're really ugly. Um, so we've got the Kregers on it. Uh, tires came out of the parts bin. The uh, the red pinstripe was actually a Mylar uh, fingernail foil tape that we put on there, and then the. Uh, we did the roll bar in red just for an accent color and I'll, I'll uh, insert some pictures of the interior because I doubt we'll be able to get in there with the black on black interior in the camera but we'll, we'll give it a shot here in a second um, so that's that's pretty much it for that we'll we'll see if we can get in here to the interior I doubt we'll be able to see much but I'll, I've got stills which we can I'll put it in so you can see the little bit of the wood grain there in the stick shift but not can't really see in there much so I got the still pictures which will help on that side this thing is a total dust magnet I've dusted it about eight times already just today I need to get some uh, 
dryer, get a dryer sheet or something out here with the anti-static stuff on it to get it wiped down real good. So here we can see a little bit in there. We've got I used the uh, an aftermarket style Recaro style seat that I took out of a uh, 80s. 80s D28 kit that has gone to the parts bin a long time ago. And the dash gauges there came from uh, uh, out of the decal, decal parts bin. So that is widen back out. And let's see if we can put this back on. It fits very tight. It's not going anywhere. I did have to. Uh, only thing I did have to do, which I actually did today, everything fit. Seemed like it fit well until I put the glass in, and then the chassis sat back a little too far. So I had to take off the front suspension and move it. I moved it forward a little bit because it was basically the wheels, tires were touching the back of the fender well. So we adjusted that to uh, center those wheels up. But other than that, that's our that's our kit. We started with we started with that AMT 442 kit and. This is where we ended. So thank you guys for watching. And uh, hopefully you're enjoying all the builds from the group build. And well, if you're not involved in it, maybe consider doing it. There's plenty of time. I think it runs until the end of the year. So there's plenty of time to jump in. And you can always do what I tend to do is a lot of times I will have a double, a double going where I'm a group build will double for more than one group build. It will cross over. I guess that's the word I'm looking for. And on that note, let me slide him out of the way here. My next build, which will be a video coming up very shortly. Because I, I know that because I already filmed it. It will be the next installment for for BG's Whirly Bird group build. And yes, I know you can hear that picture if you're old, old enough. We are doing the AMT Airwolf. So that's going to be, that's the next build on our bench. And we're starting that and to get that done, which will be my fourth, fourth Whirly Bird for the Whirly Bird group build. So with that, I want to say thanks for watching. If you like what you see, like. If you're not subscribed, please do please do subscribe. Uh, if you would like a shop card, shop card it is right there. If you would like one of the shop cards, there's an email in the description, or you can say, or you can get it off the card. But the my canopy glue is blocking the address on the card. So yeah, you can get it off the description uh, from the video. You know, just email me your address and I'll be happy to send you out a card. No matter where you are in the world, we'll send you one. So thanks for watching, guys, and we will see you next time.